Hello everybody, welcome to week 6 of Era BB. Um, the first match was meant to be between King Boo and Chavite. King Boo Skaven, Chavite is Kemri. Unfortunately that match didn't get played for whatever reason. I'm not really you know, sure that you know uh, all the ins and outs of it, but whatever happens. Honestly it ends up it ends up a pretty decent result for both of them because uh, King Boo doesn't get his rats killed and uh, <laughs> and Chavite gets a draw that you know could have been a loss. Oh, of course it could have been a win as well, but like, you know, so I guess, you know, I'm sure they both wanted to play the game, but um, they end up both not coming off too badly from a draw and now we've got pk83 and his necromantic team up against sick as eggs with his orc team and a uh, very nice orc team it is and it, it's not a bad it's really not a bad necro team um you know there's some guard there's a really nice wolf it's uh it was it's been somewhat overshadowed by danton's necromantic team in this league but it's it's really nothing to sniff at at all. It's uh, it's a very uh, it's a very decent team. And there's an instant cat. Look a dog, sick as eggs. Really good as well. Means he doesn't have to pile on there, so he can retreat to safety. Because you know piling on there would have been a bit dodgy, right? This is the thing against. Uh, Against Ke Necro, they can they can foul you very well, can't they? So you really just want to uh, nail the good players. I never really want to pile on a zombie. And that is one of the good players nailed without even having to pile on. Very nice. So yeah, loads of loads of guard. Block, stand firm, dodge. He's got a dirty player carrier. <laughs> Which, I'm not really sure why he's doing that. Is there a wizard? There's not a wizard in play, there's a baby in play. I don't know what the idea of this is, you know, like... Surely you should be trying to, say, level this guy so that he gets to 31, right? Um, or this guy so he gets to 18. Uh, 16, I don't know what I say. It's because he got 8 and I was thinking 16. This is nice, isn't it? Get to push into the... Into the uh, Fleshy, which is something you always want to be trying to do as a uh, as necro to like kind of save yourself. And of course, we have the turn one shitty necro blitz of dodging away after you fail to knock down. Absolute classic strats. Hello, <laughs> unforgiven IRL. Not in real life, but uh, <laughs> but actually. Uh, Island. This is quite good. He can chain his killer forward to, to kill him, and then he's actually away from all of the fouling boys as well. So that's pretty nice. So in fact, he could even he could have even hit. Oh, he's done it. In my opinion, wrong. I'd have moved this black oak first, and then chain my blitzer f further forward, just for you know a bit more. I'm going for the going for the uh, fleshy again. Yeah, I think I would have rather gone for one of the juicier targets, Armour 8. You know, but, um... And then also gets you space as well, right? You can go further down this side. But, um... He wants to get a bit more of a rook going. Just ignore these four and focus on the others. <laughs> Fail to pick up the ball. <laughs> I mean, that's taking the dirty player out of the drive, isn't it? Completely. Like, you definitely can't foul with your ball carrier. Has he got an invisible wizard? This is so weird. It should, like, normally if they've got a wizard and it's glitched out, there's a gap, right? There's no gap there. This seems really weird to do, not against a wizard. Like, this guy and this guy is who you'd want to carry on, right? Three touchdowns to get an extra skill is pretty good. Two and a bit, the strength four could carry it. And then you've got strength four blodge to defend against the strength four wolf. So this is really weird carrying on this. Well, I say carrying. <laughs> Attempting to pick up with this guy. <laughs> the old frenzy trap gets away with it. No, it doesn't get away with it. Greeds it into dub skulls. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. What you could have done here. Hmm. 
So could have like freed people up, run around there, chained him onto him into there, and then blocked him. He can't get to surf him though, does he? He doesn't get to surf him. Oh no, he does. Then he can punch him. So you, you could forget this guy about the ball, right? Bring this guy back for the ball. Bring this guy in here, and then um, you could chain him forward, and then you could chain that all the way through. Nah, that doesn't really work. Ah, oh, it's, it's so annoying. It's so annoying that you can do lots of stuff there, but probably not get the surf. He probably looked at it all and realised he couldn't get the surf. But it looked like there was something on there, right? You can put a couple of players in there to get that. And then you can also chain this guy yourself with that. You can't get anyone around to this corner, realistically, to get a, you know, a crazy chain. But it was close to being able to get something crazy there. You really don't want this guy hitting uh, hitting zombies. To the point where I'm, maybe he wouldn't even hit with him, right? And it looks like he's oh, but he's got a one in nine. Oh, he could have three did with block, so he must want to move the uh, troll somewhere instead. Yeah, get him over there. It's a little bit exposed versus the strength four wolf, though, because <laughs> I mean there's guards here. Reroll's gone now, so we can't GFI blitz with this guy. He's gonna hit the he's gonna hit the uh, fleshy again. No, he's gonna GFI. I think that's a terrible idea. Gets away with it. <laughs> Gets a flipping way with it. I think GFIing when your reroll's gone to hit somebody is a bit rowdy. A bit rowdy for me. Bit rowdy for me. He's, he's abandoning the ball. Abandon ship. We're gonna come in for the foul. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's pretty great. And now he's got the two players. Well, two of the players that could be carrying. Three players that could be carrying the ball near the ball. But brilliant. Two failed pickups, and then just run away from it. Here we go. Um. A uh, regular blow hit. <laughs> Devastates. Dev Apo comes in on a miss. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, yeah, it was a miss next, and then he Apo'd it, and then it failed. Mm, not sure it's worth. I mean, I guess it is to win the game, right? You've got to win the games. The problem with this division is you've got to win the games. So, like, it does make using your Apo, like, it's harder to save your Apo. Because, you know, to win the league, like, to, to, blah. So out of the 11, out of the 12 teams in the league, eight make the playoffs. And three get a bye. Now, six should make the playoffs. You know, by playing super conservatively, I think. But making the, getting the bye is going to be very difficult. That's the thing. Getting the buy for everybody is going to be very difficult. There's nobody like you know. Even Elliot, who started off really well, you know, he's not locked in for the buy at all. Get, getting the buy is going to be tough for everyone. It's so easy to go on a losing run. Um, but you know, the the better the better teams should realistically finish top eight, even if they drop the odd points. There's a gaping hole here, isn't there? But his his safety is just too deep. Imagine if his safety was here. This this option this just obviously couldn't have happened. <laughs> Are we gonna get some crazy chain here, maybe? No, he's got sand firm. <laughs> Still maybe a crazy chain. Is there a crazy chain happening? Well, there's a removal. Nah, if only he had two blitzers, he could have surfed this guy. <laughs> no, he didn't have. <laughs> doesn't have the strength to do it anyway. Not even trying to fight that. Is he going to dodge this guy away then? He must be. But then this. Oh no, he hasn't. Sick hasn't got friends. He has. He. So I guess he just have to expose the ghoul and dodge away. Which isn't so bad now that the tackle pom is out of the picture, right? And that protects the strength four a bit as well. I mean, not really, because obviously Six has got loads of guard, but 
the strength four is protected just by having dodge now. Like the the, the dodge value of everyone goes up by this guy being off the pitch. It's getting very tricky for Sick, isn't it? Although he'd made that removal of the uh, fleshy, this guy being his only one with tackle is is really horrible. He's paying the price for his doubles, isn't he? He's got this strength up and these two doubles. And you know, if he hadn't taken those, he might have had another mighty blow tackle. As good as as good as six team is, there's a lack of mighty blow tackle, isn't there? There's a general lack of mighty blow and a lack of tackle. I think he's got a somebody miss next. No, he hasn't. These are his blitzes. This guy must have died recently, honestly. I'm sure his team is better than this. Go rookie black orc. Oh, chain him in. Yeah. Oh, into, into an uphill. <laughs> the double bows. <laughs> Classic. Classic wolf play. Bring the guard around. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful cores. Wrestles him down. Gets the 2D on the ball. Oh no, he's going to 1D him first. Wait. Has he got guard? Oh, he's got guard. <laughs> oh well. Sick so gets away with that then. Probably. Oh, I wonder if uh, sealing the edge with the uh, troll would have been better, right? Push into the troll and then push the troll up there. I think that's a lot better. And then you can scoot down this sideline. That's what I would have wanted to do. No. I'd also want to pal this, this flesh golem ever. <laughs> hey. He doesn't stand firm. Interesting. So he does get to push the troll a bit forward, but I did prefer him in the, in the kind of ceiling. Why did he not stand firm? I would have kept stand firm so you're on the ball. Like, at least then that like that's causing him troubles, right? Oh, I guess we can chain him so that he's got less guard on him. Yeah, so he can chain us as less guard. Okay, well, he stood up instantly. I thought, like, you, you could have chained him to here for less guard. That might be an idea. Oh, here we go, though, look. Oh, it's so that it's so that he had this space free, maybe. One into one gets the pow. Full scumbag necro. Love to see it. <laughs> gets the stun as well. Things are looking very bad for sick. Very bad indeed. can free this blitzer come back he's just going to go for the uh, extra GFI blitz and that gives him ooh I thought he might have gone for the scatter to see if it goes in the crowd I think going in the crowd's a pretty decent bet for you with uh, having... Oh my god, he won in nines again. He's really been punished for having not having block on one player. <laughs> Black Hawks just continuously rolled. <laughs> continuously rolled one in nines. Now this is a canoring threat. This is the example here. This is the example here of a canoring threat, you know. Canor loves his scoring threats. But like, you know, you're in a bit of a pickle here. I think this 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 old guy wanted to free him so he could come back here and defend the ball. I think put, sending him forward like this is a definite, perfect example of a canoring threat. You know, it's taking away from your defense. At this point, you know, maybe you give up on uh, on scoring and try and defend the try and defend the half because like, you know, your, your offense is in tatters. <laughs> when your offense is in tatters, maybe you should. Uh, concentrate on defense, you know. We goes for the scatter there, which I think is a terrible idea, because you know now it could it could scatter back up, right? You don't want it to scatter back up. You, you know it was fine where it was. You can put him down, and just go and get it. That was maybe it could have been a misclick. Could have been a misclick. 
or a miss you know it's I think it's a misclick or a misthink because I think sick should have scattered it and then I think PK3 shouldn't have and yeah look if there was another if there was another blitzer back here it would have been you know maybe it's a bit harder for this guy to get in or, or you know just do something defensively but um Like, you know, it, it's obviously, you know, like, obviously, on your drive, you want to score freeing up the dirty player to do something. Well, there's no one really foul, is there? Like, obviously, you want to score on your offense, right? And you kind of feel, oh, he gets the power, he gets the, he gets the foul, and no, push him here, so he's closer to the dirty player. I guess it will follow. I would have pushed him there and followed, so I had an extra assist. Like, you have to foul this guy, don't you? Don't you have to foul? He doesn't foul him. He's got two reserves. He doesn't foul. He doesn't foul a strength four wolf. He could have had a two assist foul. Could have had two assist dirty player foul on a wolf. Now, who's to say if that's good or bad? But, um... And then... <laughs> Sick as eggs concedes after that, going one nil down his own drive. Um, was under the cosh. I only made you know made very few armor breaks, and uh, obviously felt like he just doesn't. His heart's not in it. Really, he said he said he doesn't like high TV blood ball. He wasn't enjoying it, so he conceded. And uh, unfortunately for Sick, one of his Black Orcs uh, left the team. It was like a four skill, I believe, Black Orc. Left the team. Luckily for him, his tackle pommer did not leave the team. <laughs> Unluckily for the rest of the league. But luckily for him, the tackle pommer did not leave the team. But um, yeah, there you go. What can you say? Um, not much of a game, but you know, at the end of the day, this is the thing, isn't it? Like, obviously, there's a bit of a. There's, in leagues, there's a bit more of a duty to, like, uh, you know, see out the game and stuff than there is in ladder. Like, I. I but it is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day, you don't want to hold people hostage, and they've got the uh, they've got the concede punishment of one of his players left the team, and that. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.